Hi everyone, welcome to this week's class. So this half term we are going to be looking at coastal landscapes which are really beautiful because there's lots of uh, different artists who have created lots of different beautiful pictures and paintings and collages um, about landscapes around the coast. So we are going to be looking at those and they're very very emotional and very um, given me lots of ideas to create dances so that's what we're going to be doing today and we're going to be looking at Richard Tuff and his work so we'll be talking about him a little bit later on. So first of all we're going to do our warm-up so if you want to come to the space with me what we're going to do first is when I call at number one you are going to jog on the spot okay so we're going to get going go 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 when I see number two two you are going to do some star jumps okay so big star not a floppy star, big strong star. In, out, in, out, in, out. Good. That's number two. When I say number three, you're going to get your elbow, pretend you've got a pencil on the end or a pen, and you're going to write your name. Okay. And you're going to write it quite fast. Whoosh, dot the I, cross any T's, everything else. Okay. So write your name with your elbow. If your name's too long, you could just do your initials if you like. So I just do a K if it's easier, okay? And my last one, number four, can you show me a balance? Okay, so it's on one leg, okay? It doesn't have to be perfectly balanced, but if you can, try and keep as still as you can with one leg off the floor, that would be great, but it can be any shape you like, okay? But any balance you can try and do. Okay, so number one, jog on the spot. Number two, star jumps. Number three, write your name with your elbow. Do, 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 do. Okay, and number four, um, uh, balance. Because it's any kind of balance that you like. Okay, so I'm gonna mix these all up. Ready, this is a good one for our brains and our bodies. Here we go, so we're gonna start with number three. Okay, so you write our name with our elbow. Really big or really small, whichever you like. Get your body nice and moving. Good. Number one. Here we go. Jog on the spot. Okay. Here we go. Get that heart going. Good. Number four. Let's try a balance. Okay. Any kind of balance. Whoa. Okay. Hold. Don't make it too hard. Okay. If you want to start with your foot just slightly off the floor. Good. That's really good to practice balancing, well done. Number two, star jumps. Well done, keep breathing please. Good, number one, go, 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 go. Number four, let's try a different balance. It can be anything you like. Okay, well done, hold. Okay, and straight to number three again. I'm gonna try my other elbow this time writing my name, there we go, get that body nice and twisting, okay, number two, our star jumps, keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing, number one, good, and number four, another balance if you can, let's do something like that, good, well done, and hold, still as you can, Good, well done. So, I want to introduce you to my traffic light ducks. Hello, hello, hello. So, we have our traffic lights. We have stop, red. Get ready, yellow. Go, green. Here we are, hello. Don't worry about the numbers, they're just on there. But I want you to look at the colours because when I hold out red, okay, you are going to show me a balance. So show me another balance or a freeze. If you don't want to balance, you can just show me a really interesting freeze position. But you have to be really, really still that you're made of marble or concrete. Good. If I say yellow, show you yellow, you are going to have to do some spotty dogs. So instead of star jumps, you're going to do spotty dogs, which are your legs go forward and your arms go opposite. So we're doing those. Okay, sporty dogs, good. And green four, that's right, go. And we are gonna, if you can, you can jog on the spot, but if you can, you've got a little bit more space, 
you can do a little jog around your room, wherever you are. If you've got lots of space, that's amazing. And you can do a nice big run around space to get going. Okay, so red is freeze. If you want to try balance, you can. Yellow, spotty dogs. Okay, that's good coordination. And green for go. Okay, a little jogging around the space, but I'm gonna mix these all up. Here we go, and our first one is. It's this one, spotty dog, yellow, go. Okay, good, keep breathing. You don't have to go very fast, just get the coordination first of all. If that's too difficult and then you can speed up. Good. We're gonna go, go, green for go. Little jog around the space. Good, good, good. Jog, 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 go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna go. Stop. Oh, there's his face. Stop. Freeze. Okay, any position you like. Make it as creative as you can, but really still. Good. Okay, it's hard to be still and show you the next one. Let's go yellow, spotty dogs. Well done, or slower if you want. Whichever one do you like. Good. Green, go, go, go. Jogging around the space. Go, go, go. Da, 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 da. All on the spot. If you haven't got much space, then I'll find a one. Stop. Okay, last big freeze. Really stretch if you're stretching, really curl up if you're curling up, but whatever you're doing, hold and freeze. Good, and breathe. Well done. Thank you very much. We'll see these guys again. Now, I want to show you a few things I found, which is some beautiful paintings created by Richard Tuff. Now, he was born in Manchester in 1965, so he's 56 years old, and he worked as a textile designer, so that means looking at patterns on material, before he moved to Cornwall to work on his paintings. So the coast of Cornwall really influenced his paintings. So you can see from this one, this is called The Footpath at St Leven, and his work is quite rough and crooked and it's a bit sort of a bit childlike really isn't it and it's a bit uneven which means a bit sort of bumpy which is like the cornish coastline it's not like buildings if you've been to the city if you've been to a city and there's lots of skyscrapers and straight lines and straight streets it's not really like that there's rough can you see it's like bumpy little paths and rough edges and Nothing's got a super straight, bold line, has it? It's quite sort of mixes into one another, which makes, it's a real, his style, isn't it? So as he's got a background in textiles, think about how the fabric feels and the layers and textures of his work. And I think that's what he's put into his paintings. Can you see? So that's one. This is another one called Calm Morning at Mousehole. So this one looks a little bit different. It looks a bit calmer, doesn't it? Can you see how the colours are quite calm? And I don't know if you've ever been to the beach first thing in the morning. It is very calm like this. When the, there's no wind, it's very still. And he looks at different seasons. So the spring, summer, autumn and winter a lot in his work. So which season do you think this one is? Do you think... I wonder if it's sort of spring or maybe maybe even summer because it's quite a nice bright blue sky, isn't it? There's some greenery here as well. But you can see the big hills in the background, the big cliffs around the sea. So he uses lots of space and there's often lots of water in his pictures because he's by the sea. And he uses lots of houses as well, lots of pictures of houses. But again, they're, very, they're all part of the picture. They're nestled into the background, aren't they? So it's, I think it's quite a cosy picture, that one. I like all the houses in these pictures. So he uses colour, but also he does sketches. And this one is called um, Walking Back to the Ferry Boat. And this one's quite a little bit more simple, isn't it? So it's just black and white. And how does that one make you feel? Maybe you can pause me and have a chat if you're with someone else. 
think this one looks a little bit colder maybe. Maybe this one's a wintertime one or autumn. You can see the leaves coming off the trees here, can't you? And these look quite sort of, look a bit cold inside. And at the boats haven't got sails, so they're probably not being used, are they? And at the birds are flying away, so maybe they're migrating for winter now. So he uses lots of different um, colours, but as we can see in this one, he uses black and white. And this is the one we're going to be dancing about. This is called Harbour Boats. And I really like this one because it's got a lot in it. When we first look at it, we think, oh, there's some boats and there's some houses and things like that. But actually, when you start looking closely, I thought this was quite interesting because it's a little bit moody. Can you see this sky? Do you know what I mean by moody? It's a bit, ooh, it feels like there's a storm coming. And if you look at the boats, can you see they're rocking slightly? And I really like that idea. I thought, ooh, rocking is a great movement in dance. You see there's little swirls here as well in the water. So maybe there's a storm coming, it's picking up. And you can see the sky was bright. Can you see that sunshine coming across the houses here? Quite bright, but then these dark clouds are coming in. Um, or maybe the dark clouds are going away and the sun's coming in. Who knows, maybe there has been a storm. This is the thing, you can interpret it and uh, everyone will have different ideas about what this picture means. Um, so the houses aren't moving, obviously, like the boats are, but they're very strong, but they look a little bit weathered, don't they? And that means, you know, they've been slightly worn away by time. So when things have had a lot of wind hitting them, things start to wear away slightly. So again, they're not these straight buildings. They're a little bit sort of bumpy and curvy and a bit wonky, aren't they? So there's some good words for dancing. So I thought to start creating a dance, what I like to do is I look at words. And I came up with some words here that we've talked about already, like stormy, unsettled, rocking, the boats were rocking strong, glint. Do you know what glint means? That's, I thought a little like, little bit of sunshine is coming through the clouds, like a glint of sunshine is poking through the clouds. Weathered, so we talked about that, things being slightly rough and worn away by the weather. And uneven, which is a great word. So something's not very flat and smooth and straight, it's a little bit bumpy or wonky. So this is a really good way of starting to create dances. So I've taken these words and I've created a phrase of movement. And I'd like you to do that with me. So what we're going to do is come into the space. And the first word that I thought I really liked, which we talked about, is rocking. Okay, so I thought, well, I'm going to be my boat on the sea. And I'm going to be in the harbour. And there's a bit of a wind... We're going to rock, but we're going to rock. Mind your head, look what's around you. We're going to hold on to our knees. And if you can, can you rock back and then sit up again? And rock back and sit up again. You have to use your tummy muscles to pull yourself back up. If you can't do that, you could just do rocking to the side, if that's easier. Okay, but if you can, look behind you. Make sure you're not going to hit your head on anything and rock back. So we'll do that three times. Good. And then I really like this idea of being unsettled. Like, I'm not sure what's going on. Is there going to be a big storm? And so I like the idea of sort of searching for something. You know when a storm is just about to come and then you have to pack everything up really quickly. So I really like that idea of sort of searching and looking and maybe little, feeling a little bit frantic and a bit worried about what's going to come. So I thought I'd pack up and look around and reach for things, feeling a little bit unsettled in myself. So I'm going to pull all these things in. Into, into here, whatever that is. So try that, you might be packing up a picnic, you might be trying to find something you lost in the sand. Have you ever done that? That's a nightmare, isn't it? If you've lost a toy or something in the sand, you've got to scrape around until you find it. So have a think, what are you doing? What are you looking for? Okay, pack it up, good. Okay, next one, I like the idea of doing a big turn and then making a really strong, solid shape to show these houses. So these houses have been by the sea for years and years and years. And the wind and the sea and the rain have been bashing against them, but they're still standing really, really strong. So I like that idea of being on the floor. If you can, do a turn up like the wind blowing up, but then you're making a strong shape 
and that shape is not going to move. So all our freezing practice we've been doing, whatever storm or whatever comes, you're not going to move. So you can make whatever shape you like. You could be a house shape if you want to, or you could just make a nice, strong, solid shape, whatever you like. Good. So from there, our last one is going to be some big billowing clouds. So we're going to have these really big, big rain clouds, but they're going to come together and you're going to show a glint of sunshine. You're going to look through your fingers and that sunshine is going to come through. So we're going to have a big billowing clouds. You're going to clap your hands, feel a glint of sunshine and they're going to open up. Okay, so show me your big billowing clouds, clap them together, glint of sunshine coming through and then open up and then the sun comes out. Okay, so on the floor again, we're going to rock three times. So we're going to go one and two and three. Good, onto your knees. What can you find? You're feeling unsettled. Have you lost something? Are you going to pick things up? You grab it, good, hold it tight, then you can do a turn, 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 into your nice strong shape, your house that isn't going to move. Good. And then we're going to finish with our billowing clouds. Clap, show the glint of sunshine, and we finish there. Good. So let's try that with some music. If you need a second longer, you can pause me and then you can have a practice. If not, let's try that with some music all together. Here we go. Done. Right, we're going to do that once more all together. This time, can you make your movement really, really big? Okay, and what I mean by that is, at the beginning when we're starting, although it's a small shape, can you make those rocks as big as you can? So it's like you're just about to tip back, but you bring yourself forward. Just about to tip back, but you bring yourself forward. Okay, on your searching, you can really stretch out, make it as big as you can. Even if you're scurrying in the floor, make those really big movements. Okay, lovely big open turn to your big, big shape. And these can be huge storm clouds that we're doing in a big clap to finish. Okay, and when we finish, can you freeze and stand still? And that means that's the end of our dance. So we know, people will know that you've finished. Okay, so that's our ending position. You can look out, look straight ahead of you and imagine that you're looking at a storm in the distance and see if it's coming. Okay, good. Let's try that again all together. done but instead of looking at this picture I would like you to look at calm morning mouse hole okay so what I want you to do is look at this picture so you can pause me and maybe get a piece of paper and a pencil I want you to write down any words that you think 
that just come to you when you look at this picture. So you might think of calm, blue, still. Okay, we've got a strong, or well, a strong-ish fence here. That looks quite weathered as well, doesn't it, actually? Okay, we have some sand. We have a very calm sky, don't we? So it's not like the stormy harbour that we just looked at. It looks very, very different for the f and the feel for it. I want to take those words and see if you can turn them into, mu um, into movement. Okay, so pause me. And hopefully you've come up with some words and ideas for that picture. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to perform what we've just done, the phrase, the harbour phrase. If that was too difficult, you don't have to do that at all. You can do the same phrase as me. But if you can, try your phrase now that you've done with your words and uh, trans um, transforming them into movement. And we can do that all together. Okay, so let's have a go at that. Here we go. gave you enough music to do for your phrase. So what you can do now is compare the two different phrases. So how is your calm morning phrase compared to the harbour boat phrase? And when you look back at the two pictures, you can see how different they were as well and if your dance reflects that. So it's a lovely thing to do, um, is looking at two different pieces of art and then making movement from them. And actually, although it's the same artist, he's very different in his work. Um, and we can be, as dancers as well, we can come up with lots of different movements for different pictures. So we're going to be looking at more of these later on, but for now let's do a little cool down. And what we're going to do is look at the idea of waves crashing, and we're going to do slow motion waves growing right up, and then we're going to crash down to the floor, but we're going to be in slow motion. So when our waves go up, we're going to breathe in, and our waves go over the top and down, we're going to breathe out all the way to the floor. And then we're going to keep going because waves don't really stop, do they? Okay, I'm going to put some nice calm music and let's have a cool down. Here we go. Well done, I bet your phrases look brilliant. I wish I could see them, I'm sure I will one day. Um, but I will see you next time and we will carry on with some more co coastal artwork. Thank you.